Hello everybody, welcome to a World of Warship Blitz game in the Tier 7 Tech Tree American Destroyer, the Mahan. Um, now, I often receive requests to um, feature American Destroyers when I first started out the channel, probably my most popular request. However, I'm not an American Destroyer player, or I wasn't. But um, after many years of months, not many years, months of neglect, um, the terrible grind through the um, Farragut before I understood what guns on a destroyer were for, um, and a lot of neglect of the Mahan, I've sort of it's come a little bit into its own, and I spent a lot of time in in Russian destroyers and in the uh, lovely Akazuki. Um, so here I am in the Mahan. Now my destroyers, in case you can look in the comments to see the build, because I'm starting to put builds in the comments. Um, my destroyers have uh, stealth builds. Now, um, tempted to put both sets of torpedoes out, but um, when you're doing this sort of stealth torping, you're better off keeping something in reserve because you never know when another target will come along. Now obviously it's pretty unfortunate for that New Orleans because now he's low on health. Um, he's got some serious, getting some serious attention. I've dropped the smoke screen because of course as soon as it opened fire I realised that um, I was up against a Nuremberg and a Nuremberg is very bad news. So Nuremberg is a pretty weak boat but very effective from the point of view of... Um, well, basically beating destroyers. Accurate guns, long range accurate guns, not something you want to tangle with. So let's get those, let's get out of dodge. Oops, gone out of range, but just in case he turns in, let's give him something to think about. And well, we'll give this guy something to think about as well. This Anshan was definitely a surprise, forcing me to turn away. Um, and we basically give him a fair pounding. Um, right, and I've got a problem here with his torpedoes. I've got a double problem. Um, they're forcing me to um, maintain the wrong angle against that Nuremberg. I've turned away. Someone's put the Ashan on fire, Anshan on fire, which is good. Let's see if we can get rid of him because basically. Um, He's a threat for my friendly battleships, and the Mahan's role is all of the bad smoking up. And just a little bit late. Oops, someone else took him down, the old Jerry. Good on him. And we've got a Mutsu here. Oh, that's the, um, the Nuremberg out to the side. Now he's done a bit of a flanking move, but he may have gone a little bit wide. Um, seven seconds until my smoke pops back in, and I think I might be pretty pretty relieved to see it. Here he is. So I pop the smoke, slow down, um, watch all those lovely shells fly past. 16 inch shells from the Mutsu, and we go into reverse. So that our detection bubble. Basically, when we pop out of the smoke, we'll have broken detection, and I can go back to the good old-fashioned job of um, stealth torping, which it can do because I've got the concealment module. So uh, generally, the Mahan isn't viewed as a stealth torp boat, and its spreads are quite wide. So at the extreme range, oh look at this, Leander. Something else we don't really want to meet. That's the Nuremberg gone, he had flanked by far too much, attracted far too much attention. The land has gone um, undetected. We'll drop one set of, or two sets of torpedoes there for the Mutsu. Um, there isn't really many other targets. And we're hoping that he's um, forgotten that there's a destroyer there. Let's get the uh, heel going. It looks like he's turning away. Come on. Oh, Colorado. It's, um, what do we do with that Colorado? Yeah, the Mutsu's gone out of range of my torpedoes, so would have hit by now. Hmm. So I'm going to turn in to get this side off. But what I'm going to do is not go completely in, because what happens then is sometimes you accidentally get out of range, get into range. Um, do I really want to do this? Defend our base. 
couple of spreads there and immediately of course the Mutsu oh Brooklyn I've got no more smoke so I need to be a little bit careful a little bit cagey um, although those do look on track for Colorado lovely he's probably detected them tried to decelerate Target his, his uh, descent and six hits 21 seconds until they reload out that side. Let's see what the other side's got going for it. Um, undetected as shells fly overhead. Aiming for my teammates. The other thing is that I'm keeping everybody spotted. Oh, look at this. Let's go in the other direction now. Two seconds to go. Be a bit of a shame if he... Um, so we just put one in behind. I should probably have done it the other way one sort of in front and then he'd slow down and turn away and the other one slightly behind but anyway is what it is Our and is about to win. well he's not really seeing that he has sped up so i'm pretty pleased that i actually did put that spread in front um long range talking is a nice bit of an interesting oh. and i couldn't resist nice but i getting some fires lit he's fired some hg at me and he's gone down for a second kill. The Leander's gone. Courtesy the Nuremberg. Can't argue with that, leaving one ship remaining out there to the that'll be the Mutsu. Um, which to be fair is someone else's problem. Well, actually, in the remaining two seconds of the game. Um, no one's problem. So Nice little flanking move there, good spotting for the team, bit of stealth torping going on with the Mahan. Um, good general purpose boat actually. I'm starting to get a little bit more attached to it, to be fair. So I got a first strike and a, a battle medal. Uh, the most damage, not fantastic damage, but still 60,000, not bad. Um, pretty scrappy battle. 15 torpedo hits, that's where all the... A lot of stealth torping going on there. A couple of floods, so... 13,000 flooding damage, can't turn that down. Anyway, that is the Mahan as a stealth torpor. Um, yeah, it gets the business done. Um, got a bit of versatility with it too. Anyway, thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time.